What's up fam, how you guys doing? It's your boy Brian here, and this is a vlog that some of you guys have been waiting for for a long time. This is the Working With Deadmau5 vlog, or the On Tour Deadmau5 vlog, whatever you guys wanna call it. So for those of you who aren't aware, I got to work with the Deadmau5 team for about two weeks, back in late October and early November for his Day of the Deadmau5 events in Miami, Florida and Denver, Colorado at Red Rocks. I just wanna extend a major thank you to the team at Deadmau5 720 and No Favors, and Mike and Natalie specifically. You guys seriously looked out and I'm grateful you guys extended this offer to myself and Jade and gave us finally this opportunity to learn a lot more about some of the behind the scenes business side of managing and directing such a massive brand. This is a really cool opportunity. So what we got to do was we got to build the physical pop-up shops for Dead Mouse and the Mouse Shop brand, which is like basically Dead Mouse's merchandise brand. So when you wanna buy Dead Mouse merch, you're gonna get it through the Mouse Shop. What made this really exciting was basically, yo, we're gonna be building an entire store for these two curated events by Dead Mouse for all the fans to come through and buy some exclusive merchandise, get some cool artwork, meet Dead Mouse himself and get things signed and interact with each other. This uh, vlog is covering both the Miami and Denver portions of this, but the Miami portion of this is really spotty and that's kind of why I'm doing this video to preface things and I'm probably gonna try and add some commentary underneath those clips so you guys have some context as to what's going on or what happened in between some of these clips. We were working so much and I did, was very much trying to absorb and learn everything and be as helpful as possible. So I did not get to vlog all that much in Miami. In Denver, I got to vlog a lot more because at this point I knew what needed to be done. I knew how to do things and I was more comfortable working in this environment. So the Denver portion of this vlog is pretty, pretty solid. But Miami, I'm gonna fill you guys in real quick. So let's get into this. It's just like the old vlogs. <laughs> this is the hotel room, walk in. Nice little open shower. Nice bathroom with glass sliding door. <laughs> Definitely some good lighting. And then we have a 180 view window. So resort there, that's the Lowe's. You look out, a little like mini golf, the cabanas for the pool that's down there. And the beach is just right there. So you just walk across the street and go to the beach. LG TV with like all the plugs. It's gonna be good natural lighting. We're gonna have all kinds of stuff here. Comfy looking bed, more lighting, proper storage, ottoman. Yes. Oh yeah. So at this point, we've just spent the next couple of days working on the store, building it, overcoming a bunch of challenges and troubleshooting, just busting our asses. It was honestly a lot of work and we were just trying to make sure everything was set up and ready to go for day of launch, opening day if you want to call it. Uh, this is the view from my hotel room in the mornings, so we had like the sun just kind of waking us up, it was nice. These are some mouse heads that were for sale that we were auctioning off between Miami and Denver. It was really cool. And then after the first night of the mouse shopping open, we had a team dinner and ended up last minute sending it to Oasis at Wynwood with uh, Nero who's headlining. I kind of wish I got sleep instead of doing this, but the venue is gorgeous and I'm so glad I did go just because that venue was nice and we kind of just said hi to a bunch of people and then went to our hotels not too long after this. But yeah, it's cool to see Nero. <laughs>
and then this is us wrapping up the giant Blanco's statue we had for Dead Mouse for the pop-up, which was like our main like centerpiece with the Day of the Dead Mouse themed paint job. And uh, this is the store after it's cleared out, man. So if you saw the video earlier in the clip, it was like fully loaded and you saw where all the stuff was and this is it just empty as we prepare to quickly leave to go to Denver. And then this is us racing back home from Miami back to Orlando so we can literally just do laundry, sleep, and then hop on a plane the next morning to Denver. So this is the following morning. I actually had two boxes of Razer laptops that we didn't have time to return in Miami. So this is me returning it the next day at my local FedEx. And this is also a good way of keeping proof of insurance in case they try and claim that I didn't mail it out. Video proof. And then me enjoying my car for like an hour <laughs> before I had to leave again. And just before we hop on the flight, I decided to treat myself to some purple ocean. Get a big acai bowl, man. That's my favorite place to go. Good evening. Probably wondering what the hell is this vlog about? What the hell is going on? I'll give you a brief summary. Um, we went down to Miami last week to build the Dead Mouse pop up for his Day of the Dead Mouse event with Pollen. Shout out to my homie Mike McGrath and the team at Dead Mouse. They hooked it up and hired us to help do this. So I didn't really vlog too much of that just because honestly I wanted to just sit there, learn, take everything in, get a lot of situated. But they very last minute invited us out to Denver to help build the Denver pop-up. So we checked out of our hotel a day early, loaded our car up with a bunch of gear and booked it back to Orlando, did laundry, went to sleep, woke up, went to the airport to come here to Denver. We landed last night, had some PF Changs, passed the fuck out and now we're here setting up at the new location here in Denver for the pop-up. Uh, we open in two days, so we have today to load in and then tomorrow to load in, which we're making a lot of progress. I'm super hyped. We're on the rooftop patio for this venue. It's beautiful. It's actually an art gallery, so it's perfect since we are selling a lot of art. Now that things are kind of falling into place, I'm going to be documenting some of it and showing you guys what it's like before and after the setup, how everything's going and uh, hopefully some stuff day of show, day of event. And I know my hair right now is a mess, dude. We've been traveling like crazy and busting our asses to get this shop set up. Uh, Miami, we had about four days to set up. This shop, we're gonna have it try and we're gonna try and have this finished today. We started today, we just unloaded the truck a couple hours ago. We're gonna try and have pretty much everything set up with the exception of a couple picture frames here and there, but yeah. If you open up 10 a.m. in two days, it's gonna be crazy. Here's a, a bit of a view. This would be a cool space to have, like just stuff going on, your DJ deck or something, but fortunately we do not have time for that. This is beautiful. Let's go downstairs. <clears throat> Our little banner to hide some stuff and for people to take photos of. Works in progress. Mouse heads for auction. Some beautiful Greg Sif pieces. And we're gonna be having paint. We're gonna have photos on these walls. Same on this. This is gonna be the love sack corner. As you can see, we're uh, pre-fluffing them because they do take a little bit of time to fluff up. This is gonna be our gaming setup where we have Blancos and Secret Lab. Just having some uh, cool NFT games and stuff like that. So we're gonna try and get this situated. It's still uh, a work in progress. Got a white mouse head. This is gonna be our entrance. This is gonna be our little patio area for where we have the meet and greet line. I'll tell you, this space is absolutely stunning. People are gonna walk in and see the giant Blanco that we had in Miami. Give me one piece. So, people appreciate the art. We're probably gonna park this McLaren right here. I mean, our neon sign right here. Right in this space, we're gonna have all of our merchandise, so all the clothing set up right here. Register, secret lab set up, but we're gonna be pimping out the chairs, so we can encourage people to buy them. 
NFT wall. And this is gonna be the meet and greet station for uh, Joel Demos and fellow artists. This is Big Boss Man. But this is beautiful art gallery. Making things happen. show cars not the huracan but i just rode in that thing fun thank you so much mclaren of denver my board i'm gonna go coming in so clutch check them out we just drove these two 720s lovely 720s back from mclaren denver they came in super clutch last minute because the uh senna unfortunately did not get delivered oh shit Two McLarens. We just whipped the McLarens like, I don't know, like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, all the way back to the venue. That was really fun. Really fun, man. It was a really cool car. Did it? We secured the McLaren. I'm so excited, bro. This is like the final piece we needed. All the tits down with silver? Yep. Why not silver? We're not doing silver. It really feels like we're on a different planet. This is stunning. It's literally like we're on a different planet right now. Oh 
my goodness. Christian, this is amazing. So pretty. We're going to sneak into this. Oh, yeah. You can hear it around the venue. Spaceship. Big Daddy Mike. Yeah, put those glasses on. Ooh. Yo, for real. That's so sick. That's actually from Miami. Yeah. Mike got it already, but... Oh my god. That's so cool. I
live NFTs. This is so cool. So Gregory Sif just painted this, and now they're gonna go scan it and turn it into an actual NFT. Oh, that's awesome. And he they commissioned this, right? What were you saying when you that's saw awesome. that? That's awesome. And these fine gentlemen over here commissioned this piece. Oh, he painted them on it? So that's the kid. That's so cool. And that's Tease of the Future, baby.
history. <laughs> this is amazing. So much history here. It's beautiful. Beastie Boys, Tom Petty. Wow. We really brought the McLaren to fucking Red Rocks. <laughs> You want to start it up? Yeah, start it up. Cold start? Are we ready? A very cold start. <laughs> Woo! Look at you! Chill! Let that baby warm up. So much fun to drive. It definitely took a little bit of time to get comfortable with it, but it's honestly pretty easy. Again, shout out McLaren. Love y'all. Thank you so much, McLaren Denver. You guys have been spectacular. Seriously loaning us out two 720s, the Aston Martin. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate this. Making lots of dreams possible. I made my whole week with this. Better yet, you made the shop look amazing. Thank you. Back home. It's been two weeks. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, beautiful people? Welcome to the end of this vlogumentary that was my Dead Mouse pop up experience working with them, working with the team. This was crazy, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this because uh, this is a cool glimpse into the experience that we had working with Deb Mouse and his brand directors and the Mouse Shop, and kind of me just documenting our journey into venturing deeper into the music industry and the entertainment industry. I just wanted to say, dude, this was an awesome experience. I really hope I get to do this again really soon, especially with Deb Mouse, man. That was a fucking sick. Again, huge shout out to the team at Dead Mouse and Mouse Shop and uh, Mike, especially Mike McGrath, man, looking out big time. Check out his work, check out his company, No Favors, man. They do all kinds of cool things for the music industry when it comes to like tour managing, brand direction, merchandise, touring, like everything you can think of when it comes to a music or an artist brand, he's got you covered. Again, I know this was a bit of a long vlog. I really wanted to document this, and this is something more so for me to look back at just in the coming years and kind of see how we grow and continue on in this adventure. I hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe you saw something really cool. I mean, between the Miami event and then the Denver pop-up, it was really cool. It was my first Red Rock show, first Dead Mouse show. <laughs> um, I got to drive a McLaren 720S all week. Uh, we learned so much about business and just setting up things, optimizing things for sale, all this type of stuff. It was just an all around memorable experience. We got to fucking learn about NFTs and mythical games and the Blancos team, bro. They were so nice and showed us a lot about their cool game, which if you know what I'm talking about, just I'll have a link in the description so you guys could check out this game. And it's actually, I've made some pretty good money. It's actually like paid my bills this past month, which is sick. Just being able to play a game and kind of buy and sell items on the marketplace that they have. Also, thank you to the team for giving me a special dead mouse love sack that doesn't exist yet and i have gregory sif's test print of one of his pieces that he did for dead mouse and i actually have a dead mouse secret lab chair that you guys may have seen in videos recently <laughs> thank you guys so much again for watching this and thank you to mike and the team at dead mouse 720 you guys are awesome let's do it again <laughs>